Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 20th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Eccentric CFS and ECM Ensembles. So if I'm trying to cover weeks, we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the early part of May. I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say that first, the video only said was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. So please check out all today's bits of content. Well, that one I missed one. Um, like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gas Weather. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, Car hunting went well, by the way. In case anyone was wondering, I picked up a Vauxhall Crossland yesterday from um, uh, from uh, Hinkley. So, uh, yeah, expensive day. <laughs> I don't think I'll be having any holidays this year, let's put it that way. Um but I am I am mobile, so uh hopefully it'll all go alright. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Won't have any more car issues for a few years. Uh anyway, you're not really interested in that, are you? No, well, let's get on with the uh, uh video. So it's actually intense. It ticked down yesterday actually, quite a cheap day yesterday. So it ticked down to eleven point three. That's still three point four degrees above sixty one. To 1990 average provisional yesterday to provisional two yesterday to the 9th of uh, April. I'll probably take down a bit more when my updates um, tomorrow for today and then it will start to rise again. In fact, by the weekend, I imagine that will be solidly in the 12. So, this is the reason why these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. For the next couple of weeks, we've been out of breath this morning, this afternoon. <laughs> so, the red line is a 30 year. Upper air temperature average for London. And uh, we're starting off still a little bit below average at the moment, but look at this. Uh, upper air temperature is properly lifting up as we're going through the rest of this week and into the weekend. So becoming really quite warm Thursday, Friday, probably for the South Saturday as well. Better drop in the upper air temperatures later in the weekend. Next week, coming quite chilly again. And then after that, we have a lot of scatter. So we have the milder ensemble members up here, have colder ensemble members down there. Um, so as we're looking into like the last week of April, then we have quite a bit of uh, uncertainty coming through. Interpretation why it doesn't look as wet as it has been. So uh, the next few days are going to be reasonably dry once today's rain is out of the way. Uh, some wet weather here as we get the cool down later in the weekend. So that could involve like a cold front or something pushing south eastwards. That might bring some showers along with spells of rain. But reasonably dry again after that. So certainly by next week, 10 days looking fairly dry, you would have to say. Um, they're possibly a bit more unsettled right at the end of the ensemble. But of course, that's a long way off and it is therefore in the unreliable type. And it certainly looks drier than it has been. Temperature anomaly, so the temperature of the 18th of April, going to be uh, slightly milder than average, not a particularly big deviation. And the precipitation anomaly, so the temperature of the 18th of April, a driving average in England and Wales, but went to an average for parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. <coughs> so, sorry, but it definitely looks like the jet stream is shifting further northwards, at least in the next week anyway, allowing higher pressure to build up from the Azores. Notice it's dry through France, through Spain, Portugal, out into the Atlantic. That's the Azores high then, building up from the south um, and lifting the jet stream and the areas of low pressure further northwards, very wet in the Norwegian Sea, for example. Ladies and gentlemen, from Earth, no school dot net shows we've got a weather system coming across the country today, just here. And behind that, we're pulling in a southwesterly. So, this is where the warm up's coming from. The air will start pushing up from the Azores, from the Canary Islands, Madeira, those sort of areas. And, um, and so, that is the reason that we're going to have a warm up starting with this rain actually spreading eastwards right now. Okay, let's go through the chart data. It's our latest UK bet Euro run. It's looking for midnight on Saturday. So it's still looking pretty warm in the south with southwest wind. Turn a bit cooler further north west. We all go to those cooler west northwest winds uh, later in the weekend through Saturday through Sunday. And then uh, low pressure into early part of next week pulls wind into a cooler or a colder northwest sea. So it'll be a bit chilly, I think, through the early part of next week, possibly with some wintry showers here. It should still be reasonably dry, though. Down the south, I can't again bring up that southwest wind for Saturday. Uh, then the wind turns westerly through Sunday to Monday. That's going to be cooler, but not cold wind direction. Not as much of a northwesterly of I come. It's something that we've seen quite a bit over the past few uh, uh, 
updates and whatnot. So uh, high pressure remains quite close to us, actually, and protects us from that sort of northwesterly, that, uh, for example, the UK Met is going for the UK Met wants to pull wind in from like a, a northwesterly, almost a northerly direction there early next week. But the, uh, but the ICON model just keeps that at bay because of this ridge of high pressure down to the southwest. So main dry, possibly a bit on the chilly side, but mostly dry and uh, looking quite pleasant there with ICON. KMA uh, looks like that. Again, we're uh, flattening off that uh, westerly flow as we're going uh, through the or southwesterly flow. Uh, we're going to flat westerly from the southwesterly. Let's do that again. So, uh, KMA, we are going from uh, the southwesterly there into a flatter westerly uh, over the weekend. Um, just went into the northwest by the beginning of next week. That northwest event turns into the north briefly. Brings a cold snap to the door. But again, high pressure keeps a lot of that at bay. However, we then go into quite an unsettled looking spell around days 10 with this uh, shallow low moving in from the Atlantic there. Uh, GFS Midnight Run again. Flat west of this as we go in from Saturday through to Sunday. Then quite unsettled for the early part of next week. But not much of a northwesterly or northerly um, with GFS Midnight Run either. Uh, now we get to day 10 and beyond it, and then we find this trough of low pressure setting up underneath a uh, northern blocking feature. Uh, most of next week actually looks reasonably dry, especially so in the south and southwest with this uh, ridge of high pressure. Uh, I guess it's wobble on the high pressure. It looks like we're trending back towards high pressure again today. Uh, then low pressure taking over across the country as we're going into very extended rain, so it becomes much more unsettled and quite cold again into the last week of uh, April, when it's turning into a northerly. GFS 6Z, again, brings up that southwesterly from Friday to Saturday, turns it into a westerly, Saturday to Sunday, tries to get wind into the northwest, but doesn't really pull it off, because this area of high pressure, which is resort high, of course, is uh, protecting us from those uh, northerly winds. And eventually, the high pressure will come moving in, across the country so definitely swing back here to high pressure from uh the gfs model output for next week much more in way of high pressure influences compared to what we were seeing yesterday again in the extended range it starts then building up high pressure around green Iceland turns wind into a cold and northerly so we get a last week of april cold snap minus five cells ice blow coming samples wintry showers even off and probably some damaging due to time of year night frost um, and looking quite cold then as we go into the last uh, days of uh, April. <clears throat> that gets us 26th of April, winding from the north then with a blocking area of high pressure around green ice. Yeah, not sure about that, very long way off and therefore highly speculative. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Want to drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys well this thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around 12 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that would be amazing. It would be incredible and we will thank you so much everyone for doing that. <coughs> Sorry once again everybody, GM with high pressure across France, Spain, Portugal, low pressure in the Atlantic, drawing up that southwesterly through uh, Saturday, then by Sunday it turns to a flat westerly, more of a northwesterly to northerly through the early part of next week with the GM, so the GM is colder in the early part of next week, wintry showers into uh, the north. Not that unsettled, but high pressure is still quite close to us from the southwest. By day 10, though, it looks like totally more unsettled by the 20th of April. Low pressure heading in from the Atlantic. And, uh, okay, so I haven't got the ECM up. <laughs> what are you doing, Gav? Right, okay, let's get the ECM together. Right, there we go, ECM's up now. Oh, um, well, let's have a look at that then. So, again, got the southwest winds into south on Saturday. We go to a flat westerly through into Sunday. Low pressure and deep in from the Atlantic Monday with a northwesterly to northerly wind into Tuesday. Quite an unsettled and cold start 
next week. Not so much about the beginning of next week, is it there? Just how much of a northwesterly we, we get. And will low pressure be involved in that? Or will this ridge out in the Atlantic be closer to us, protecting us from the northerly and keeping us dry? Quite a bit of uncertainty for less than uh, a week away. As it is, later next week, the East End then starts building in this area of high pressure from the west. So by the end of next week, turning much drier under that uh, original, well, that area of high pressure um, over trend through next week after a cool and unsettled start with the ECM is to turn things drier and probably milder. This is a precipitation forecast for some ECM run from Tibetia. got more rain pushed across the country today and tonight. Tomorrow, I see the rain going further north as high pressure builds up. From the south, we should have a lot of dry weather for the uh, rest of the week in the south, anyway. Some rain in the north. In comes this uh, weather system over the weekend that brings the wet weather down into the south from Sunday through to Monday and turns winds into a colder northwesterly. Wintry showers into the north and west, mean dry bow down in the south and the east protected from those northwesterly winds. And then the trend is high pressure, so increasingly dry as we go through middle and second half next week. This is not on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to 20th of April. Um, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles have this area of high pressure building through the west of uh, Europe. So the ECM operational run, that idea of building high pressure through the second half next week, quite well supported actually by the ECM ensembles. In two-week time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 25th of April. 19 members of the ECM on time will have high pressure between Iceland and Scandinavia. Winds in from the east. Should be mostly dry. Could be a little bit on a chilly side, but should be mostly dry. With that, 17 with high pressure more towards the east. And that will bring up like a southerly or a southeasterly flow. That could be quite warm, actually. But warm and dry there. And then we've got 15 with high pressure pulling out into the Atlantic uh, around Greenland, Iceland. And that'll bring the wind into an north or a northeast. So that's kind of like what the GFS uh, big diet operational runs are going for into the last week of April with the, with the last week of April cold snap there. However, it is quite a minority option. Um, although 19, 17 and 15, you know, a bit split within the East uh, Ensemble as to where this high pressure is building up around day 10, where that high pressure is actually going. CFS V2, finally, these are 500 millibar heights. I'll bring down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 10th to 16th of April. Next week, see high pressure to the southwest, low pressures away to the north, and winds are coming up from a southwesterly direction. Week 2 will be, come on, highlights of week 2 will be the 17th, 23rd of April. High pressure then right in over the top of the coast. That should be mostly dry. It should be quite warm as well, with winds coming up from like a southerly or a southeasterly. Direction. Uh, week three <laughs> will be the 24th, 30th of April. Low pressures around Spain, then. High pressure to the north. That could be quite wet, especially from the south. Should be relatively mild, though. And then uh, week four will be the 1st of the 7th of May, with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. Low pressure underneath it. Uh, again, that could be quite wet, especially from the south, as that area of low pressure pushes um, northwards there. Long way off, though, so we not necessarily that concerned about that. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. And sure everyone for doing that. Want to drop a comment and say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, whether it's thanks so everybody for doing that. As I say, around 13 subscribers, 12, 13, something like that. We'll get to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be amazing. Thanks so much. Right, I'll tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. That's 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. A detailed European outlook for next week, 10 days. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day out with all our regular features, of course. Uh, so you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And um, for this one, my best one now. And thanks for watching.